Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for August 12th to the 26th. First, we're going to talk about what's left at Debbie. Uh, here it is racing to the northeast. It doesn't really have any kind of circulation. It looks more like a frontal boundary now. Uh, moving to the east, there's still a line of very heavy rain and thunderstorms moving to the east. And um, we'll look at that at radar. Oh, no, we can't. Or maybe we can. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to take a look. Here's our line of thunderstorms here that will be that will be moving through the east. I think this is the last batch. This is the front. There goes Debbie right there, lifting to the northeast. Um, I don't want anybody to get flooded rain, but thank God, you know, like we didn't get much rain here. And um, which is because we had a lot of rain already during the week before we were suffering with no rain. Now we have too much rain. And um, so, like, it was glad that, you know, that some people didn't, but some people did. And my prayers are with you if you're flooded. Um, so, like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but, like, I'm really um, sorry about that, you know, if you're experienced flooding. I know a lot of people down in the Carolinas did. So, um, okay, so we're going to look at the latest advisory from the, uh, the Weather Prediction Center is as of 11 a.m., 16, I think this might be the last, no, they're going to give one a five, supposedly. Okay, at 11 p.m., it was at 41.7 uh, north, 77.7 west, about 160 miles northeast of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I think it's even further, it's in New York now. Or 250 miles southwest of Albany, New York. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles an hour, and it's moving to the northeast at 35 or at 37 miles an hour. Minimum sector pressure has come up now considerably, and it's a 1,003 millibar, 29.63 inches. And we have flood watches and warnings in effect for portions of South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Eastern, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York. Flood watching for New Jersey, Delaware, Northern, uh, Northern Vermont, Northern New Hampshire. Tornado watch is also issued for uh, Maryland, Eastern PA, Delaware, New Jersey, Southeast New York. Coastal flood advisory are in for the coast of Mid-Atlantic. Gale warnings are in effect for the coastal waters of Mid-Atlantic and Southern New England. Wind advisories are in effect for Eastern Maryland, Delaware, Eastern PA, New Jersey. Boy, New Jersey, we're getting everything. Southern New York, Southern Connecticut, Southeast New York, and Vermont. And uh, so, like, that's the current, um, where, um, where uh, Debbie is right now, okay? So, we're going to leave that, and we're going to go to um, the forecast now. Uh, Debbie's going to be a history soon. So, this is for August 12th to the 16th. And you see what we have here. We have a ridge now coming towards uh, the Aleutians, ridge over Canada that moves eastward, pushing this trough into the northeast. And we have our strong ridge here across um, the south, uh, south central plains in Texas. So um, the ridge will continue to cause heat across south central states. And then we'll have uh, moisture moving around this ridge. And also um, this will come into the Mississippi Valley with rain and storms. But also there'll be monsoonal moisture coming into the um, Four Corners region that are moving to the Midwest later in the week. Okay, um, moving on. We're going to look at the period now for August 17th to the 21st. We have a trough. Now here's our ridge. We have a trough here in the northwest. Trough over the northeast. Ridge here across Canada and the uh, west central states. So for this forecast period, it hasn't changed much. I'm calling for below normal temperatures here and for this region and calling for anomalies to be about 2 to 4 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures forecast here with anomalies of 8 degrees, above normal some locations across Texas here for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, probability of currents 35 to 40%, Below normal precipitation for this region here, and probability of occurrence is 35%. Next, 
Now we're going to look at the period for August 22nd to the 26th. We still have our trough, trough configuration here, ridge, and here's our ridge over the Aleutians. Ridge here, much Canada, the northern high latitudes. So um, trough, trough configuration, ridge in between. So for this forecast period, calling for, now it's not moving at all. Calling for above normal precipitation from uh, above normal temperatures for this region here. And calling for anomalies that could exceed 8 degrees above normal, mainly here across Texas and parts of the southern plains. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. Above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. That's a long range of weather forecast discussion for August 12th to 26th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mungley's World of Weather, and have a good day.